Mangala Pandeji, the Divisional Commissioner and Chairman of Kanpur Smart City, Sri S.C. Sharmaji, who has taken the initiative to organize such a wonderful meet, Mr. Ajay Mishra, the Special Chief Chik uh, Secretary from the Government of Telangana, Mr. Ali Meftahi, who is the first Secretary Embassy of Tunisia, Sri Santosh Kumar Sharmaji, who is the Municipal Commissioner, Kanpur Municipal Corporation, and CEO, Kanpur Smart City. Mr. Raman Grover, who is the Deputy Zonal Manager, Punjab National Bank. Mr. Ajay Gupta from Tech Mahindra. Mr. Ravi Gupta, the Founder and CEO, ELETS Techno Media Private Limited. All those who are interested in the city of Kanpur to make it a, a smart city, all distinguished guests who have come from different cities. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has taken this initiative to develop smart cities. And I'm very happy that Kanpur is striving very hard to become a smart city at the national level. When we talk about smart cities, as some of the earlier speakers have said, that we talk about certain other cities which are moving ahead to become smart cities. We can talk about Pune, who has developed a transportation system which they call as intelligent trans transportation management system. We can talk about Coimbatore where they are developing uh, special types of chairs which they are placing in the open gardens and which have Wi-Fi facility because we all know that today we are moving towards a technical India. But when we come back to our city of Kanpur, we have when we talk about a smart city, I think that first of all, we have to think about how to make it a city which is devoid of all the basic necessities which we require. It may be the transportation facility, it may be the pollution level which is present in the city, or the cleanliness, wastewater management, these are many of the things on which we have to focus. I am very happy that all sectors of the society are present here and they can think collectively on these lines. We have to create workable localities. When we talk about workable localities, I mean those localities which are free from pollution, where we enjoy walking. It is not a crowded place or a crowded city where we are going and simply we are just trying to make our, our way through the uh, crowded localities or crowded cities. And once while we are moving through the city, we should be secure. There should be no mishappening whatsoever when anybody is walking. It may be a girl, it may be a lady, it may be a man, it may be a boy, it may be a child. We should be secure while we are walking in the cities. I am very happy that the police department here has taken a lot of initiatives and we have a, a, a large number of apps and uh, 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 many uh, types of facilities which the police department is providing. It may be just dial simply UP100 which has become so popular and they are taking care of this. But we have to move ahead with this movement so that we have first of all a very secure Kanpur. We have to make governance citizen friendly. That is uh, now gone are those days when we had to stand in long queues to make bill payments. Now we can make all these things online. And if we have to talk about uh, smart cities, and I think uh, uh, we, we already had a speaker from P Punjab National Bank who has told us about these facilities, about the apps and the smart cards and how we can move ahead in this direction. Now, once we are rid of our basic necessities, I think we should try to give a name to the city. And when we talk about Kanpur, there are several things which I, in my this short tenure, have felt that Kanpur can acquire a name. It may be the cuisine of Kanpur, it may become famous for that. It may be the temples, tourism. That is, uh, we have a very good number of temples. I have been visiting them all around Kanpur. But we have not been able to attract tourists to this place. So when we talk about smartness, we can have a smart Kanpur where we are attracting tourists. They may think of when we talk about Kanpur, oh, do we have to go to Kanpur to see those wonderful temples which are present all around the city? It may be health. 
because uh, Kanpur again we have a medical college and we have very good medical facilities. We can create our own identity in any of the diseases for which Kanpur can become famous. And of course, I must talk about education because Kanpur is also rich in education. We have of course Chhatrapati Shahuji Maharaj University from where I am coming. We have IIT, we have the National Sugar Institute, we have the Pulse Institute, we have HBTU. We have so many universities and institutes. So we have to make Kanpur an educational hub also so that it can move towards smartness. We are also talking about wastewater management. Today we have a scarcity of water. Everywhere we are talking about how to conserve water. There was a time, I often give a very common example, that there was a time when we went to the river, our forefathers, they went to the river and they simply collected water and they drank it. We moved on. When they said that no, river water is not good and we started taking water from the wells and that water was regarded to be very good and it was safe for drinking. Then well also it became obsolete and we started going uh, for tap water. We had tap waters provided with, by the municipality and we started drinking those uh, uh, tap waters. Now we see these bottles which are here on the table, we have moved on to the bisleries or to these bottled waters which we say that they are pure and we will not become diseased by drinking this water. So now when we are talking about this drinking water, my question is what is going to happen tomorrow? What is going to happen tomorrow? What will our children drink? What will their uh, children drink? So we have to think very gravely on this very serious issue that how we can conserve water, make it drinkable, retain it for its purity so that because we know that water is the necessity of life and none of us can live without water. So these are uh, some of the things which we require attention right now. And Regarding the transportation, we do need multi-storied parkings. The railway uh, line, I think it is a very big hindrance for the entire city. We are thinking about uh, whether we should have overbridges on this, this railway line or this railway line should be shifted. So that also is a, a, a hindrance in creating a smart city for Kanpur to develop as a Kanpur uh, city. Uh, we can also have many more line indicators across the city which can tell us the directions of different places which are present here in uh, Kanpur so that it can develop into a smart city. This very word smart, when we are talking about uh, smart, it has five letters that is S-M-A-R-T. If we just try to analyze these different letters, smart, I, I have already referred to, I am just trying to club them together. If we talk about S, it is the services which the city can provide. M is the management because unless we manage everything very well, we cannot develop a good city. A would stand for air because we need pure air. Unless we have an unpolluted air, we have a very clean and green environment, it would not be possible for us to develop. R, I told you we have this railway line which is a nuisance for us and finally T, that is transportation, we have to have an excellent transportation. But to achieve all these things, that is to convert our city into a smart city, I do not think that we can say that we have a number of speakers here who are, who are giving their own views on how to develop Kanpur into a smart city. But I feel that there are many things which X has and Y does not have. That there are many things which Y has and Z does not have. There are many things which Z has and Y does not have. So we have to work together. If we have to develop Kanpur into a smart city, we have all of us dream about a, a smart city. Sapne hum sabhi dekhte hain. Sapna hume aata hai ki hum अपने कानपुर को एक स्मार्ट सिटी बनाकर रखें साफ सुथरी एक सिटी हो जहां पर हमें बिल्कुल शुद्ध हवा मिले और हम जब निकले वी शुड फील प्राउड दैट वी बिलोंग टू अ स्मार्ट सिटी ऑफ कानपुर लेकिन मेरा सिर्फ यही मानना है कि हमें सब मिलकर चलना होगा ऑल ऑफ अस हैव टू ड्रीम टुगेदर ऑल ऑफ अस हैव टू इंप्लीमेंट our thoughts into reality and I'm sure that with the efforts of all of us, we are going to convert Kanpur into a smart city. Thank you very much.